We've just come here for a picnic lunch at one of the nicest spots here in Launceston, City Park. I'm here at the original site of Government House for the north of the state. It was used from 1827 to 1850 and it was first occupied by Governor Arthur. And these stones are all that's left of it. The gun is a 36 pounder. It was cast in 1840. After it was captured in Sebastopol, it was presented to Launceston in response to charitable efforts towards the Patriotic Fund. When I was a kid, the centrepiece of this playground was an AB class steam engine, built in 1891 and placed by the Rotary Club in 1959. It was removed in 1990 to undergo restoration at the Don River Railway. They now have this U-Class diesel shunter. I reckon the old one was better. I had so much fun on that thing as a kid. <laughs> Even in the busyness of the park, there are still secluded areas where you can find a little peace and quiet. The Albert Hall is an example of Victorian architecture. It was opened in 1891 for the Tasmanian Industrial Exhibition. So the Queen came to Launceston in about 2000, maybe 2001, and I remember we took the lunch break off to come down and see her, and she actually walked through here, uh, through City Park, and went into the Albert Hall. So yeah, I saw the Queen in person, from a distance. We're going to see what City Park is really famous for, the monkeys. These are Japanese macaque monkeys. City Park has been exhibiting animals since the 1800s. 
Previous attractions have included deer, birds, wallabies, and even the extinct thylacine or Tasmanian tiger. Japanese macaques are well suited to Launceston's climate, which can feature frosty mornings and hot summer days. So the idea here is that the plants that have been planted in this garden are ones you can touch, ones you can smell, so you experience the garden with all your senses, not just sight. Um, and there's braille on the signs so that vision impaired people can experience it and appreciate it as well. Ronald Campbell Gunn was a botanist who lived from 1808 to 1881. He introduced Tasmania's natural history to the world. This statue commemorating him was sculpted by Peter Corlett in 2006. Hi. Um, this is a bit rude, but it's good to water the plants and it's a bit cool, but it's a bit rude. And rude things like this should are just not allowed. When Linda and I first met, and she came down to visit me in Tasmania, I actually brought her here. It actually looked a lot cooler back then. There was like this platform behind me where you could kind of climb up and it was like a little waterfall thing. It's actually a bit disappointing now, it's just so open and... I don't know, it was better before. This fountain was made to celebrate Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee. It was in 1887. I nearly got hit in the head by a falling acorn. Oh well, I hope you really enjoyed our trip to City Park. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let us know in the comments what was your favourite part of City Park. See you later!